Hey Morningstar, we've all heard horror stories about the crazy antics of, of brides on their wedding day. Brides gone crazy, right? Our, our culture has even coined the, the word bridezilla, uh, which gave rise to a reality TV show that actually aired for like nine years. Uh, one of my favorite bridezilla stories involved a woman who was a bridesmaid uh, asked to be in a relative's wedding. And the bridesmaid was married and she and her husband had been trying to get pregnant and finally they were able to, to conceive. But the bridezilla, instead of calling and congratulating and being happy for her relative bridesmaid, got furious, kicked her out of the wedding. Why? Because she was gonna be plump and pregnant in the pictures. But the worst, the worst is still to come. Three months later, sadly, the bridesmaid miscarried. The bride calls her, and instead of expressing sympathy, says, well, hey, good, now you can be back in the wedding. No, she didn't accept the offer. Hey, here's another bridezilla story. God created the world. He gave the world and everybody in it life. He even claimed a group of nobodies as his own, blessed them with a land flowing with milk and honey. But they constantly rebelled against his will, a will which was actually designed to bless them. But they always wanted their blessings like we want our Burger King Whoppers, their way, our way. So God eventually gets to the point of doing something dramatic, sends his one and only son, lives a perfect life, then offers that life as a sacrifice, an atonement, a payment for their sins. You see, in doing so, what God was doing was flinging open the doors of his family, inviting everyone, all of us, you and me, imperfect people, far, near, Jew, Gentile, all of us to have the promise of life abundant here on earth, the promise of, of, of eternal life in heaven, a, a, a place of, of sinless beauty and perfection. You see, this is where you and I come in as God's people. We're the church. The church, as we talked about this last weekend, is the assembly of believers, those who, who believe that Jesus is our Savior and our Lord. And, and as the church, we've been united to God in a, in a very special and holy way, much like a, a marriage. Uh, it, it's, it's a commitment. In the New Testament, it's called a covenant, a new covenant of love, one that's expressed most fully in the self-giving sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. Now, in the New Testament book of Ephesians chapter 5, the apostle Paul refers to us, the church, as the, the bride of Christ, a bride for whom Jesus gave his life to wash us of our sin and present us as a, a holy and blameless people before God. And as that holy and blameless people, we're yoked uh, with Christ in a relationship stronger than even the best marriage on, on earth, where he will never, as our bridegroom, he will never abandon us or abuse us, but will continue to serve us. He will serve us for better, for worse, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted, not by death, but we are not parted by death, but even serve us into eternity. Friends, that's the kind of groom that every bride aspires to have, right? And one that, that I and every husband should aspire to imitate. The question really for us is, what kind of bride are we being? Are we being a, a bridezilla that, that takes everything that Jesus did for us for granted? exhibits crazy, ridiculous selfishness? Or are we being a bride that's submissive to our groom, submissive to Christ, realizing the abundant love that, that he's shown to us, and then joyfully and willfully choosing to, to love him in return, to love our, our groom uh, with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength? And it sounds kind of weird for a guy to say, but you know, hey, I and, and all of us guys and ladies and those of us who belong to Jesus, we're, we're his bride. And what kind of church and bride are we going to choose to be? Hey, along those very lines, this weekend, we, uh, we've got a great weekend of worship planned as we celebrate the first 15 years that we here at Morningstar have been the bride of Christ. And I can't wait to come together and, and highlight our first 15 years of ministry and then look forward uh, and see how God's word is going to be continually calling us into the next 15 years that God has already prepared and planned for us. We're going to celebrate together. Also want to give a shout out to The Way, our second daughter church, who this weekend, they're going to be celebrating their first year of ministry 
as we celebrate our 15th. Hey, Morningstar, be the church, be the bride of Christ this week, and I can't wait to celebrate 15 years with you this weekend. God bless you.